Hi, this is Madonna. Mm -hmm. This is Madonna, the mother of Jesus. We need to be very clear. Christ is king. Uh, uh, a lot of imagery that's been coming out and things that I'll tell, things I, I told Kim this yesterday, I said, look, any form of perversion is bad in God's eyes. Hey, hey. Okay. The queen of pop, Madonna, has been exposed by none other than the king of controversy, Kanye West. Recently, Madonna has done a photo shoot that has raised many eyebrows and sparked some controversy. Allegedly, her photo shoot mocks Jesus and religious imagery. Well, in a shocking revelation, Kanye claims that Madonna has sold her soul to the devil in exchange for her success. But is he just stirring the pot for some publicity, or does he truly believe what he's saying? Let's find out. The legendary singer is once again tapping into religious iconography. Recently, Madonna has posed for the icon issue of the publication, which is a collaboration between the French, Italian, and Spanish editions of the monthly magazine. Not only that, the photo shoot includes Madonna resembling Jesus at the Last Supper, surrounded by 12 apostles, and she is seen wearing a cream garment with a red cover at the top. Besides the pop queen herself, explain the story behind the photo shoot. As you know, in the Last Supper, Jesus is a man and he's surrounded by male disciples. So I thought it'd be interesting that we would flip the tables around and Jesus would be feminine energy and I would be surrounded by female disciples, she continued. I like the idea we were playing with that contradiction, which isn't really a contradiction. Another photo, which appears on the cover of the special issue, appears to show the Grammy Award winner resembling Virgin Mary wearing an extravagant headpiece. The image also depicted a flaming heart stabbed with seven swords, which many assumed was alluding to the religious imagery, the pierced heart of the Blessed Virgin. Critics blasted the images, slamming them as offensive, disrespectful, and outright blasphemy. Although there's been immense praise over the recent photo shoot, it's also sparked criticism on social media, with some fans saying that it's disrespectful and offensive. At the same time, fans on Twitter claim Madonna was mocking Jesus Christ and Virgin Mary. One Twitter user wrote, they're not going to find it funny when it's time for their judgment. Another wrote, why can't this pasty white witch leave Christianity alone? People are outraged and hurt over this bizarre photo shoot. One Twitter user tweeted with a tone of revenge, Beware Madonna, Vanity Fair and all of you. It's disgraceful and sad that you think you can get away with this blasphemy. While Madonna is no stranger to having sparked controversy and has experienced a few run-ins with some of the religious groups. Her music video for Like a Prayer also prompted backlash from religious groups even in 1989. Even over the last Christmas, Madonna came under fire after she posed some family photos featuring her 10-year-old twins in cordettes and heels. Well, the latest outrage comes amid the news that Madonna will embark on a world tour later this year, which will celebrate her four decades in the music industry. Along with fans, even some celebrities are calling out Madonna's Virgin Mary look demonic, and it's obvious that she's mocking Christianity, which is quite insulting and disgusting. Being a believer of Jesus, Kanye West is not a bit happy about the situation and slams Madonna for selling her soul to the devil. This is the time I feel so blessed to be used by God in a situation like this. And when we pray, we pray with open hearts and not condescendingly. He loves Jesus and will always believe in him. He condemns anyone who tries to mock his God, and Madonna did just that. According to him, Satan destroys his family. That's why he will stand against anyone who is involved with the devil. I love Jesus. I love God. I love family. I love my family. My family has been destroyed by Satan. Well, Kanye is just being Kanye, and he will always call out the demonic and satanic things that have been going on within the industry. Recently, a Spanish luxury brand, Balenciaga, released pictures of children holding stuffed animals in BDSM outfits that's been seen as demonic and satanic, sparking massive outrage. The luxury brand's recent photo shoots directly point to one sickening concept, the celebration of the abuse and sexualization of children. Balenciaga issued an apology for a 
controversial campaign that posed children with teddy bears dressed in bondage and BDSM gear. The bear handbags were displayed wearing fishnet tops, collars with locks and restraints, and leather chest harnesses. The children's photos weren't the only part of the campaign that sparked backlash. Kanye West was once one of Balenciaga's biggest supporters and collaborators, came forward to speak about the controversy surrounding the brand's latest ad campaign. Not only that, West seemed to call on his fellow stars to denounce the luxury label, which cut ties with the rapper due to a series of anti-Semitic remarks. This just shows you that all celebrities are controlled. You don't see any celebrities talking about the Balenciaga situation, Wes said. All of these celebrities out here, don't let them influence you in any way because they're controlled by the people who really influence the world, he added. They're not serving God. One day after West's interview, his ex-wife Kim Kardashian, who has starred in Balenciaga ad campaigns and almost exclusively wears the brand's designs, issued her own statement regarding the offending ads. Kim finally released a statement on Sunday calling herself disgusted and outraged, saying she didn't respond immediately because she wanted an opportunity to speak to Balenciaga to understand for myself how this could have happened. Kim Kardashian further added, As a mother of four, I've been shaken by the disturbing images. About an hour after her initial statement, Kardashian added an addendum about her partnership with the label, saying, As for my future with Balenciaga, I am currently reevaluating my relationship with the brand, basing it off their willingness to accept accountability for something that should have never happened to begin with, and the actions I am expecting to see them take to protect children. Even fans are outraged seeing this level of demonic and negative forces. One of them tweeted, Wake the F up. The world is ruled by satanic forces. Find God and live a moral life. Say the Lord's Prayer every day and walk with Christ. After she applied to take in her first child, David, from Malawi, news headlines exploded with claims, Madonna didn't save a life, she kidnapped a baby. Looks like Madonna didn't just mock Jesus, but also has been involved with another demonic activity, and that is child trafficking. Well, it's not a hit, in fact, that the pop singer Madonna is being accused of human trafficking and sexually exploiting children by a charitable organization known as the Ethiopian World Federation. The EWF is asking Malawi and President Lazarus Shakwara to investigate Madonna's charity and restrict her and her associates' accessibility to Africa and to African children as a precautionary measure until a thorough investigation is done into child trafficking, sex exploitation, sexual slavery, adoption reversal, threat of coercion, fraud, deception, and abuse of power or vulnerability. Fans have been outraged seeing this bizarre thing happening right under their nose. One of them commented, This is just so heartbreaking, evil, and truly hard to comprehend. Praying justice comes soon. Well, in the EWF's petition, they cited Madonna's 1992 book, Sex as a Caution for Concern. The EWF went on to claim that her book's child pornographic content, religious imagery, and other vulgar media prompted her to open her own orphanage, raising Malawi, to host social experiments on vulnerable African children in Malawi. Not only that, the group suggests that the singer is using her Malawian adopted son, David Banda, for sexual exploitation and social experiments. The petition cites the photos of David wearing women's clothes, makeup, and jewelry. Well, Madonna adopted more kids from Malawi after David. In 2009, after battling in court, the singer was finally approved to adopt Mercy James. After that, she adopted a set of twins, Astaire and Stella, in 2017. To which the plea further states, we firmly believe that Malawi has been robbed of its most precious resource, its children. However, fans have different reactions over Madonna being accused of child trafficking, but it looks like they were not very surprised by the news. One of them wrote, raise your hand if you're not at all surprised that Madonna is being accused of child trafficking. Another added, Madonna being involved in child trafficking comes as a surprise to no one. She has come across as a complete wrong and for years. I feel for those children that have to live with her. Well, that's it for today, folks. Until next time, goodbye.